Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features in Final Cut Pro 10.2. In this excerpt, I'll show you the new import options in Final Cut. Let's get into some cool stuff. So first, let's click on and close this library. And let us, um, oh, we'll just work with this untitled library. Rename it to Media. And with the Media event selected, click Import Media. And this is the first interface change. Notice over here on the right that entirely separate dialog, which would only appear after you click on Import, is now integrated within the Import window. The connected devices on the left, files that we're importing in the center, and all of our import settings on the right. There is no change to the import settings. They're exactly the same as they were with 1.14. What is different is the location and the fact that we can now hide them by clicking the Show Hide button. But they're the same choices. They still exist as a preference file. If we go up to Final Cut Pro, go down to, there's our import preferences, exactly the same as it was before. Accessing importing is exactly the same. The only thing that changes is the interface, and it's a lot easier to work with. Now, I want to show you something. Let's go to our second drive. I'm going to create a shortcut for my training folder by grabbing the training media, dragging it on top of the word favorites. That's not a new feature, but it's a really useful one. I'm going to go down to railroads. These are AVC HD clips that were shot by Miles Hale in uh, He's a scenery builder in uh, model railroads. I just want to watch his trains roll around the scenery. So let's just, um, let's pick this one. That'll work. Now, a couple things that are new. Notice this videos, photos, and all clips button. This menu only appears when you are importing from a camera that can shoot either videos or shoot stills. A DSLR camera comes instantly to mind. If your camera doesn't shoot stills, this menu doesn't even appear. You can take a look at the videos or the still images or both. Also notice these two icons down here. See those? This allows us to see a collection of thumbnails or this allows us to see a list this menu only appears, these two icons only appear, when you have the ability to transcode a clip. If you're bringing in a QuickTime movie that's already playable by your computer, these two icons don't show up. It's the same reason that when I am working like this, I can select a range within the clip only when I can transcode. If I'm not able to transcode, if, for instance, it's already a ProRes file, all I'm bringing in when I import is a link that points to where that file is stored on the hard disk. So these two icons only show up when you are able to transcode the media, and this menu only shows up when you're bringing in files from a camera that shoots both video and photos. These are not new. This is. By the way, notice that the close window after starting import moved over to the right-hand side from over here in 10.1.4, and these options are slightly different. You can hide clips that have already been imported by clicking Hide Imported Clips, but the rest of these choices are the same as earlier versions. So the interface change for importing is significant in terms of making your life easier, but no different at all when you look at the actual features that are involved. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Final Cut Pro 10.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 155. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.